Well, for those of us who love to travel, this pandemic may be putting a crimp in our plans. Catherine Chen joins us now to tell us how to get out of the house without actually getting out. Hey, Catherine, you know, I love museums. Can I still see museums without actually leaving the house? Hi, Michelle. Well, the Automobile Driving Museum has a high quality virtual tour on their website, automobiledrivingmuseum.org, and it's almost like visiting in person. And although ESMOA is closed, we're still able to appreciate the artwork of their current experience, Stardust, by visiting their website, esmoa.org, and taking a virtual tour there. Hey, very interesting, Catherine. I understand that ESMOA is even hosting a virtual art exhibit called Art in the Time of COVID-19, and artists can submit photos and paintings, even movie clips. Now, what if we want to move beyond El Segundo? Many museums and organizations are using their social media accounts at this time to connect with the public or to offer a behind-the-scenes look. So if there's a place you're interested in, go ahead and check out their website or their social media pages to see if they have anything scheduled. For me, I love Hearst Castle, and they've had docents giving informational tours on Facebook Live recently. They've also had some home learning program webinars on Zoom for students who are interested in arts or architecture. Another place is the Aquarium of the Pacific. They have an Aquarium Online Academy featuring a variety of live and on-demand programming. They have a schedule of live classes about different topics and animals, and they even have live dissections, so almost like an online biology class. And what's great about these live classes is there's a phone number you can text your questions to, and the educators can answer them on the live stream. And don't forget, they also have cameras in some of their exhibits, so you can watch their animals anytime you'd like on your phone or computer. What's out there for us globetrotters? The Google Arts and Culture Collection offers virtual tours and 360-degree videos of hundreds of museums, landmarks, and attractions around the world. So you can explore places like the Taj Mahal, Japanese temples, and the Colosseum in Rome. And similarly, there's an app called Expeditions that allows you to discover new places by downloading scenes with 360 degree views of the area, along with some information about the place. And finally, there's YouTube. You can search YouTube for those 360 degree videos. A couple that I found are Air Pano VR. They have a lot of high quality underwater and aerial videos. And another was uh, VR Gorilla. They have a lot of guided tours of places like Cuba, London, and other European cities. And what's great about these 360 degree videos is you can adjust the viewing angles while it's playing. So it, you can look in any direction you'd like, just like you were traveling in real life. Hey, neat stuff, Kathy. And you know, Viking Cruises, that cruise line, they even launched their own online channel, Viking TV. On there, you can watch a lot of cultural experiences, anywhere from cooking to travel documentaries, even concerts. But you know what, Kathy? It's nice to know that I could still visit the Eiffel Tower without leaving my house. And the neat thing about that is I don't even have to pack. That's right, Michelle. Just wanted to mention that the El Segundo Library also has a digital library. There you can download ebooks and audiobooks. All you need is your library card. Just wanted to make sure those bookworms are taken care of too. Thanks again, Kathy, for all the information on virtual travel and entertainment. You're welcome, Michelle. And don't forget to log on to elsegunda.org for all the latest and accurate information on COVID-19.